hey everyone and welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you how to fix some common errors you might run into while using the nintendo switch emulators if your games are crashing freezing or just looking a bit funky don't worry i got you let's jump right in now this video is going to be really good because it's actually a real life video i was trying to start my mario kart 8 deluxe while trying to film this video and i promise you i was running into some crashing so i'm going to show you step by step while going through this video how i fixed it to get into my mario kart 8. this video won't even have a lot of cuts in it because i'll be just directly showing you the issues that i was facing clearing the cache sometimes the emulator saves old data that messes up your games here's how to fix it you have to find the particular game you're having trouble with on your emulator's game list. You have to right click that game and you have to look for the option that says purge cache or purge shaders. Once you click it, this clears out all the corrupted files or broken shaders that could be causing the problems. It's kind of like giving your game a fresh start. Now, when I was trying to load up my Mario Kart 8, I was just continuously crashing crashing and crashing my shaders wouldn't load completely so my first step i tried to do was clearing the cache and that didn't particularly work are you still having issues if your game looks choppy or you're seeing weird tearing across the screen here's another tip you can lower your graphic settings high settings can be overloading your system and can cause crashing or lags turning them down a notch can make a huge difference also, make sure that VSync is turned on. You'll usually find this option in the emulator's graphic settings. VSync helps match your game frames with your monitors, which stops screen tearing and makes everything look way smoother. Now, as you can see here, I tried to go into the emulator and change my graphic settings, and I tried to start it up again, and that didn't particularly work. Another step I want you to always remember to do is make sure that your firmware and your keys are up to date. Even if you think that you have some firmware and some keys that are up to date, just make sure that everything is good to go. As you can see here, after I removed my firmware and keys and I removed my update and re-added everything, cleared the cache one more time, opened up the game, and it went ahead and opened up for me. And that's it. Super simple, but effective. Clearing your cache, lowering your graphics, and turning on VSync can fix a ton of the most common emulator issues. If this video helps you out, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more quick fix guides like this one. Got any other questions or errors or you stuck on anything? Leave a comment below and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching and happy game. Surprise, baby. Yippee.